Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling. In this session of the video, we're going to talk about the introduction regarding the metabolism. So we'll be having a good concept regarding the metabolism. We'll be talking about the metabolism, anabolism, catabolism, and their purposes. And again, in the last uh, part, we'll be talking about the types of metabolic reactions. So defining the metabolism, I'll call it the chemical reactions occurring in living system are collectively called metabolism all the reactions all the time in our body the reactions are going on for example you're eating something you're eating a meat so this meat is going going to break down into small portions small protein parts and that protein is again going to break down so that breaking down means catabolism into amino acids and that amino acids are again going to join together to form a particular protein that your body needs and that process is called anabolism so catabolism by simply catabolism means breaking down anabolism is making up so the metabolism is def is is actually uh, is is actually a not, not two types like you do you actually define the meta you call metabolism are uh, depending on the both reaction anabolism and catabolism together cause the uh, the metabolism because metabolism are actually the reactions the continuous reactions are occurring something breaking down and something making up so protein, if the protein is not breaking down, if we don't have amino acid, we can't do the anabolic. So both go together and together they, we call them the metabolism. So uh, we have just defined what is metabolism. I'll, I'll, I have to define this part, the metabolites. So metabolites are actually our substrate, our product, our intermediates, which are used during these reactions. So you can say metabolites are substrate either, I mean either, either substrate or product or intermediates which are in between them in the reactions of metabolism right so you call those things not substrate not product you call them the metabolite so we're done with the metabolite now let's talk about talk about something else now let's say uh, we have an except anabolism and catabolism we have other def, uh, you know branch we call that particular thing as amphibolism so what is amphibolism you know it's not that much necessary, but you have to know, know the definition. So what is amphibolism? So amphibolism is actually are the reactions which occur both, you know, the reactions which are actually both the catabolic and anabolic in nature. So uh, like we have an example of the Krebs cycle, TCA cycle. In that cycle, both the reactions are going on, the catabolism and the anabolism. So we call that reaction, uh, what we call, with this type of reaction, we call them the amphibolism. All right, so uh, that was that was it. Now let's talk about the metabolism and its purpose. So the purpose, like there are three main purposes of the metabolism. We have the purpose regarding the catabolism, but in the case of me uh, metabolism, we have three purposes. The first purpose of the metabolism is the conversion. I'll mention the conversion by C. Conversion of food into Small, you can say conversion of food into energy. This is the number one. We have got three main purposes. Number one is conversion of food into energy. Number two, we have got is the food conversion to building blocks. Like food again, food converted into the building blocks. Like uh, we eating fruit, uh, we need the building blocks. What are the building blocks? Amino acids. All those amino acids. Your mono, uh, your monosaccharides. All those are the building blocks. So what happens? We're gonna break down the protein, and protein going to give us the amino acid. Those are the building blocks. So we uh, the food. We were going to the purpose of metabolism is to break down and break them down into the building blocks. And the last purpose of the metabolism is the elimination of nitrogenous base like elimination of nitrogenous waste all right so these are the three main purposes regarding of the metabolism uh, all right we're done with the metabolism now let's move towards the catabolism so what is catabolism so you can define the catabolism in the sense that it's a set of metabolic pathways that break down molecule into smaller units like I've talked about it, catabolism means breaking down. So you break down small molecule into smaller units that are either oxidized to release energy or used in other anabolic reactions. All right. So uh, in this case, in, uh, we talk about the catabolism I means simply by 
meaning we are going to break it down so breaking the food down break down I'll write the breakdown break down the food or anything so what is the purpose of the catabolism the purpose of catabolism is to trap energy of biomolecules in form of ATP and to generate the substances required for synthesis of what of the complete molecules so what happens in the catabolism we're gonna break down the uh, we're gonna break down the food and we're gonna get up that energy and, and in which form that energy is going to form therefore energy is going to form in the form of ATP so we're going to use that ATP to form other products in the case of the anabolism we're going to take up the energy because the catabolism is actually the exergonic reaction so exer exergonic reaction and anabolism is endogonic reaction all right reaction reaction all right just an example so this uh, a catabolism you can say exergonic reaction so the minus negative gives free energy this one is the positive gives free energy all right so now let's talk about the purpose so I've just told you what is the purpose of it purpose of catabolism is to trap energy we're gonna trap that energy uh, in the form of the ATP and to generate the substance required for synthesis of the complete metabolite so how are we gonna we, we how are we going to uh, make up these breaking break them down and make up new substances so it depends on three stage like there is a three stage process through which the catabolism goes through so at that stage like we have got three stages to go through the process of catabolism